Now Florida is bracing for a big impact as Hurricane Helene is making its way toward the western coastline there. The Gulf Coast it is. It is predicted to make landfall this week. Evacuation warnings are already in effect all around that area with local officials urging people to be ready for the storm or get to safer and higher ground now. Other states in the southeast are also under hurricane warnings as they get ready for Helene's impact. And meteorologist Liz McGiffin is joining us now. You've been tracking the storm for us, Liz. So how close is it to making landfall at this point? Well, at this point, we're already starting to see some of those impacts. So the moisture streaming ahead of this system into Florida, and it is a category one storm with 85 mile per hour winds. It's traveling up to the north at 12 miles per hour. And notice that as we pause things just in the early hours of tomorrow morning, 110 mile per hour winds are expected by 2 a.m., which will bump it from category one to category two strength. As this system continues to move through very warm Gulf moisture, notice that 2 p.m. up Date come Thursday expected to intensify to a category four hurricane with sustained winds of 130 miles per hour. As we look closer toward Thursday evening, about 6 p.m., that looks like when the eye will be crossing toward Tallahassee, still at that category four strength. And then that remnant moisture just continues from Friday on into the weekend to push its way farther north, even impacting parts of the Ohio Valley and rainfall amounts, not just for the panhandle of Florida, but from Atlanta up to the north, even impacting just areas off to the west of Raleigh, North Carolina, could be seeing 6 to 12 inches of rainfall. And Dave, thankfully, it is a much different picture and a much drier picture here across Colorado. I wouldn't